my name's Turkey Worm. Back with another video. We've made it to do so far. Let's see if we can keep this rolling. Two is pretty good for me. Yeah. Like I said, this is the start of my random series. <clears throat> I still don't know what to call it, but this is going to be the first video of that. And like I said, this is a video all about this last hunting season. Here it goes. Bow season, gun season, back to bow season. And it spreads across about two and a half months. And last season, out of those two and a half months, I had one good day. And that's where, we're, that's where we will start because that is open day of bow season, which is the first day of hunting, October 1st. Now I've been, fuck, I've been bow hunting now for, well this will be my seventh year this upcoming season, bow hunting. It took me six years, like exactly six years, to find a good deer bow. It's not the biggest one ever, you know, I ain't, I don't give a shit. Took me six years to get a fucking deer. I could not be happy with it. And then, this is what I got. Opening day of this last season. Now, one of the happiest moments of my life. It's not one of the biggest ones ever, but... This have a funky looking rack, don't it? In the front, looks normal. Look at it from the side and back and it just gets weird. Yeah, and I got it fucking dipped, which I mean, come on, that is a badass fucking dip. I don't care who you are. This is a moonshine freedom camouflage. I just think that's a badass fucking dip. So yeah, this is the buck I got, the bow, you know, very first deer with bow. Opening day about an hour before dark. Don't really have much to say about it. You know, I came out in the field 40 yards and I shot it. If I had my bow with me, I would show it, but I don't currently have it. Currently have it. I was deciding it in a little while ago, about a month ago, and the string started to fucking fray apart, so been at the bow shop now for three weeks still waiting on it hopefully to get the fucking thing back here soon cuz today September 1st I have a month until bow season and other than that I am fucking ready for bow season I have everything I need I've been ready for a fucking month already yeah I don't really know what else to talk about That was one of the best days of my life, shooting that buck with my bow. But it's kind of outweighed by November. November was a fucking dark, terrible time for me. How do, like, where, where do I want to start, really? I guess I'll start with you know, I only talk about the times I pulled the trigger on my gun. And I mean, it was just Fucking, it pisses me off now just to think about it but let's see it was the first I think it was the first weekend of gun season I went out 
went to a blind. A different blind than <clears throat> from where I shot that one. And I walked up into the blind and I looked out the window that was straight ahead. The name just had a big sub. <clears throat> and there was a big ass doe straight out in the field. And I had taken that window out. I had my gun pulled up. I had the crossers on her and I was gonna shoot. Because I mean, she was a big fucking doe. But then I thought, you know what? Still in the rut a little bit. You know, it's not as in kick as it was but still going on so I decided to lay my gun down like rest it against the walls and open up the rest of the window because I thought you know what there could be a big buck coming with her well I set my gun down and it made the slice little tap on the wall had no clue he was there 30 yards in front of me biggest fucking buck I've ever seen while hunting jumps up out of the brush takes off running down the field grabbed my rifle up shot missed as he was running and he ran through the gully and up through the fucking woods and he was gone he was gone gone I just about said fuck this fuck it fuck everything and walked home right then but I'm glad I didn't but at the same time I wish I would have because I mean it don't get any better for me so I was sitting there for the next about two hours, just sitting there fucking hating everything, didn't want to hunt, didn't want to do anything, didn't want anything to do with anything, just pissed off. And about an hour after that, four or five small, small buck came out in the field. Like, compared to this buck, the buck that came out in the field, they make him look like a giant. But there was a shit ton of doe in the field with him. And I was thinking about shooting a doe. But I ended up not. I resisted the urge to shoot a doe, which I don't know why I did. Like, why the fuck not? And. Let's see. Came in from the right. And all you seen was a big ass pair of antlers coming down through the brush and I thought holy fuck I sat there watching and watching and watching he came out in the field and I thought holy fuck it's the same buck he's giving me a second shot actually a third shot because I shot twice when he was running and I thought holy fuck he's giving me a third fucking shot and I mean he came out right in the middle of the fucking field no deer around him I mean he's just out in the fucking open perfect broadside shot pulled up had the crossers on and pulled that trigger click and I mean I didn't yell it but I mean I said it out loud I didn't whisper but I just said you gotta be fucking kidding me what the fuck I pulled the bolt back and there's a shell in there and it's the last shell that was in the clip and you can see where the pin hit, but it didn't go off. And I thought, well, I've had shells do this before. Not with this gun, but I've had shells do this before. So I'll just try it again. Close the bolt back up. Pulled up. Click. And then I'll pull that fucking bolt back. Take that shell. Fucking throw that thing. Not the best idea. But, oh well. Pulled a clip out, which was empty, and I threw that in the fucking floor, because I wasn't going to take the time to reload that right then. Reached back. So, let's see, we're up to four shots now. Technically. Reached back, pulled the shell out of the, out of the belt. Shoved that in the chamber, closed the bolt. Picked the gun up, there's nothing in the field. Everything's gone. At this point, I'm just about crying. Alright, I won't lie. And then he's like, well, I thought, you know what? Let's just kind of scope out the fucking brush in the edge of the woods. 
and see if he's still around. Well, sure enough, he only ran 50 yards to the fucking tree line, and he was standing right outside of the tree line. Still giving me a good shot. I pulled up, had the crossers on him, and I fired this time. Fucking boom! And I thought, I just got the biggest buck of my life. The reason I thought that? Is when I shot, his entire body jolted, and he slowly did like a half trot in the woods. No blood, no deer, no nothing. Five fucking chances at that motherfucker. Didn't get him. I did not touch that fucking, well, that was my 243. Which, up until then, that was my favorite gun. I didn't touch that fucking rifle for six months after that first time I touched it was a couple months ago maybe maybe it wasn't even that long ago me and my cousin went to shoot target well we figured out my 243 is shooting about a foot to the left and down I still hate that fucking gun I hate that fucking scope. I'm not touching that fucking thing until I can get a new scope to put on it. So for right now, fuck that guy. And I didn't think to, <clears throat> and I didn't think to check it. Just make sure it was still sighted in because I've gotten deer with it before. And I've got woodchuck with it. I think I even got rabbit with it before. So. I didn't think anything of it and these are all spread out across two or three years and never had a problem before so I didn't think to check it so I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait till I get a new scope for that fucking thing before I touch that stupid ass name again and then muzzle loading season came around and that was fucking awful too I only I didn't go out I don't think I went out again during gun season after that that I just didn't want to go hunting and then muzzle loading season came around in December so I went out with the muzzle loader I thought well I'll give this a try I was standing in a gully well we well we weren't on a deer drive <laughs> oh, went on a deer drive and I was standing in well, kind of a gully it's it's about 50 yards across the two edges and it's about 20 30 foot just about straight fucking down either side Duh. and they were driving and I was on watch they were driving two doe came down from the left and they stood straight across from me 50 yards so I pulled up with that fucking muzzle loader shot and the bigger doe which was the one I shot at for obvious reasons she just a fucking rocked back. She tumbled down that fucking hill, smacked off the creek bed. And I thought, about time I get a fucking deer. Or at least something. I was in the process of reloading the muzzleloader. I look off and that doe picks her head up, looks around, stands up and trots off. Get down there where she was, right where I hit her, blood everywhere. Where she rolled down the hill less and less and less blood in the crate bed a couple of specks where she got up and ran off nothing walked the entire fucking hill nothing no blood no deer no nothing so either I just barely grazed her or I shot a super doe which I wouldn't be surprised you know you shot a super doe I had her like a fucking x-men type shit you know shoot the doe Wounded for a little bit and then it just heals right up. Yeah, that's one reason I'm so fucking excited for bow season. Because 
That's the only happy memory I have for my season. Nothing good happened this last fucking hunting season for gun. Terrible. Wait and see how it goes this year. Yeah, that pretty much sums up my last hunting season. All in all, even though I got that buck with my bow, first deer's bow, all in all, that was probably the worst hunting season I've ever had. It's terrible. Depressing, too. Now, what I am going to try to do, because this video is going up Friday, September 1st. Well, also happens to be the day rabbit, squirrel, and crow season opens up. So I'm going to see what either Butt Munch is doing or what Butt, butt Liquor is up to. And I'm going to try to make a, I don't want to call it a hunting video though. You know, I don't know what to call it, but I don't want to call it a hunting video. I'm going to try and make some videos hunting rabbits and squirrels and shit like that. Until bow season opens up and then it'll be deer hunting. So, if neither of them are able to do it, won't be able to. So I guess we'll see what happens. Monday. Oh yeah, I've decided to... I have decided to do it Monday and Friday. I don't know if I actually said that in yesterday's video. But... I have decided to do the random series like this every Monday and Friday for now. Get used to uploading the videos on a regular basis and eventually turn it into something else. So the next video will be going on Monday. Yeah, because yeah. Well if I do a if I do get someone to record record for me Squirrel or Rabbit hunting tomorrow, as long as we record something. Because we're not going to upload a video of just walking around the woods in circles. So if I do get somebody to record for me, there'll be a video going up Saturday. And that'll be squirrel hunting or something like that. Because I'd make the video tomorrow, which is Friday. And I can upload it Friday night. Can't upload anything Saturday night. So yeah, there will either be a small game hunting video going up Saturday, but there's definitely a video going up Monday. And the Monday video will be about the FFA. I talked about it before and I finally decided to get my ass around to do the video on it. So that video will go up Monday and I'm still hoping to do Firewatch Wednesday. See how it goes. I guess that's it for this video. Once again. My name's Turkey.